What's up everyone? Today I'm back with a brand new video for you and I'm doing something a bit different. As you may have known um, from my previous vlogs that I recently went to Florida. Now in Florida there was a store in Panama City Beach, Florida. There was a store um, that was filled with As Seen On TV products. It was nothing but As Seen On TV products. So I went in there and I knew we just had to get some things to test for you guys. So I'm going to be testing out these As Seen On TV products here. Um, so make sure that you stick around for this video and give it a like. Also I am currently trying to reach 300 subscribers at the moment so make sure that you subscribe you can subscribe with the red button down below here I'm not sure if it's here or here sorry about it but make sure that you subscribe because it will enter you into my giveaway that's literally all you have to do is subscribe and you will also be notified whenever I post another video so that'll be fun too without further ado let's get started shall we Alrighty, so the first thing that I picked up while I was at the As Seen on TV store is something called Mystic Smoke. If you can see that here, apparently if you put this on your fingers, it'll create a smoke illusion. So that's going to be kind of cool. Let's see if it works. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and test out this Mystic Smoke. Okay, so I'm going to read the instructions here for y'all. It says to remove cap, pierce tube with end of cap. So I'm going to do that. You can't really tell, but okay, so it just pierced the tube. Now it says to place a small amount on your thumb. Okay. What is a small amount? I really don't know. This stuff is kind of thick. Okay, so I got like a really small amount. I don't even know if that's enough, but we'll see. Rub thumb and first two fingers together. So first two fingers, I guess this is what it is. Oh, it's sticky, okay. And then snap your fingers apart and make a throwing motion. It smells like smoke, but I don't see any smoke. I'm going to put a little bit more. Oh, it's working. Oh my gosh, I don't know if you can see it on camera. Can you see the smoke? It's so crazy. It even smells like smoke. Oh my goodness. This is so cool. I cannot even. Wow. I hope that you could see that on camera. Who comes up with this stuff? Like, I want your job, sir. Alrighty, so the next thing that I am super, super, super excited to try is this Moon Doggy, is what it's called here. It says the world's first self inflating. Ball. Now, who doesn't want a self-inflating ball? I mean, okay, can we talk self-inflating ball? You better get it. We're going to see if this works. I really have no idea. Maybe it's just like a balloon or something that just kind of self-inflates with like the air that's surrounding it. I really have no idea, but let's test it out. Moon Doggy Ball plays like any foot sack, except you can use your hands or any part of your body to keep it in play. Bounce it between your two hands and it will self-inflate. Once it is inflated, you are good to go. Do not put your fingers or anything else in the holes of the ball or stretch it too much. If the ball gets sticky, add a small amount of baby powder or flour to the outside and inside of the ball. Let's hope it's not sticky. Oh, it's powdery. Oh, okay. I kind of see how this might work. Okay, so if you can see on the camera, I really hope that you can. Let me flip it upside. To, there are like holes through the ball so apparently you're supposed to just go back and forth and it will inflate let's see this is not working maybe I'm supposed to like apart yes that's what you do y'all you pull it apart first and then you start throwing in this is a dud I don't like this at all it's inflating finally look that's so cool <laughs> this is so cool I cannot okay so I actually do like this because it ended up inflating how cool is that y'all but you can easily just deflate it so so I don't know y'all it was pretty cool for a second but I think it's a dud sorry about it so the next product that I have for you all is something called electro putty this is actually the first thing that I grabbed while I was at the As Seen on TV store and apparently it's just glow in the dark putty um, but you can actually transfer whatever you write on paper onto your putty here. So let's go ahead and see if this works. 
Alrighty, so if you see here, it says Whammo Electro Putty here, and it just says Glow in the Dark Putty. But on the back here, you can see here that you can actually transfer stuff that you write on paper onto the putty, and it will glow apparently. Let's go ahead and see if this product does what it says. It better, I'm gonna be very upset. Ooh, look, it comes with this little light here. How cool. Oh, this is like an ultraviolet light or something? Yes, it sure is. Oh wow, oh this putty though is kind of, it's kind of hard. So I'm just going to start off by kneading it just like you would any kind of putty or slime. Just go ahead and knead it until it is malleable and until you can work with it. Okay, so I just put it into a ball here because I'm going to try to write something in. Okay, so I'm going to try with both a pencil and a pen to see which one transfers onto the putty better. So let's see, what should I write? What should I draw? Okay, so hopefully you, you can tell what I wrote here, but it just says subscribe with a little heart. So I'm going to transfer it on to our putty here. Let's see. Okay, so I'm just going to start off by stretching it to how big I need it. And then I'm just going to place it over the paper. And then I'm going to pat it down. I'm just going to kind of wait like 10 seconds before I take the putty off. So I'm going to count. Should I have done one Mississippi, two Mississippi? I'm just going to try it now. Ooh, 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 ooh. It's a little hard to take off the paper once you get it on there, but it did transfer. Okay, I see you. Maybe I should have wrote a little bit darker. I can not. This is so cool. Let me show you all. Okay, so I don't know if you can tell from the camera because I am personally blind. Great, it just messed it up. But look, there's this little light here that you use to react onto the putty. So when you place it on, you see it turns like a darker green. This is so cool, y'all. And it's glow in the dark, of course. So cool, so, so cool. I cannot even. Okay, I'm gonna try with a pen now and see if that works better. Hopefully the pen doesn't like stain the putty because the pencil did not. I already see the pencil's gone, so. Wah, wah, wah. It apparently doesn't work with pens. Apparently, this Electro Putty is discriminatory against what it picks up. It only picks up pencil, not pen. So make sure you do not use a pen, children. Use a pencil. A pencilisha. Okay, so the next thing that I picked up at the As Seen on TV store in Florida were these liquid chalk markers. Can we just take a moment to appreciate these right now? I would go crazy if I were like five years old with these things I mean I'm gonna go crazy now let's face it but if this was around when I was a kid best believe that I would have the whole sidewalk painted girl maybe even the drive port and the pavement I would have painted everything so I'm gonna go ahead and test these out outside and maybe like mark on some sidewalk or something whatever I have outside I'll probably do it on my little porch in the back um, and I'm gonna go ahead and mark that up basically what you do it says here is you just add water and then this little chalk powder that's here you add that into this as well and you just shake it all up and then you start to write on whatever you want to write on so that's kind of cool um, let's test it out shall we So these things were super amazing. I love them so much and I got three more of them that I'm going to be actually giving away to one of you. Whoever wins my 300 subscriber giveaway will be receiving a green liquid chalk marker, an orange liquid chalk marker, and a purple liquid chalk marker. Now this is not all that I'm going to be giving away. I also have a giant Dum Dum Pop, the world's biggest Dum Dum Pop in the flavor of cream soda that I'm also going to be putting in the giveaway and a bunch of other cool things. I'm actually still picking things up for the giveaway because I have a little bit of time. I think I'm like 70 something subscribers away from 300. 
So that's just that there. Alrighty, well that was pretty much it for this video. I really hope that you all enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up for me and subscribe to my channel for me so that you never miss another video from myself and so that you could be entered into my 300 subscriber giveaway and possibly be the winner of these three chalk markers. Who wouldn't want to win these? And the world's biggest Dum Dum Pop. Really, this is going to be a really good giveaway for my first giveaway ever. And I just want you to know that you need to be there or you're going to be square. You're going to be triangle. You're going to be circle. You're going to be all the shapes, girl. So you better be a part of that giveaway and subscribe, okay? You can subscribe with the red button down below. It's completely free. All it does is it notifies you when I upload a new video. And who doesn't want to be notified of new videos? I mean, come on. I upload great videos. I'm just saying. <laughs> Just kidding. But make sure that you subscribe to my channel and I will see you all next time. Bye!